In Java, the object class is the base class of all other classes. Every other class extends object and it inherits several methods from this object class. Let's see how this works. Let's create a brand new class called dog. There's a class called dog. And in class dog, I'm not going to extend any other class and I'm not even going to add any kind of instance variables or methods at all. I'm just going to leave it pretty much empty just like this. And let's see if we can start creating dog objects right away. Is that possible? I mean, this thing is pretty much empty. Well, let's try it. So here is the main method. Let's create a dog object. Dog A, send it to new dog. And I, I didn't get any errors, and it looks like it works. So let's see if there's any methods that we can call on object A. A dot, and look at that. There are several methods that all come from this class called object. Object, object. If you look at the right-hand side, everything says object. And there's an equals method. For comparison, there's a get class, hash code, notify, notify all, to string. Wait, there's several stuff, and where do these come from? So that is because every single class extends object. And you don't have to put this in there, it automatically does it, but this is what it's doing, and this is the class where all these methods are coming from. And also, it's important to note that. The most useful methods from object are the equals method, toString, and hash code. And these methods are typically overridden. And in a different video, we'll learn how to override the toString method and also the equals method.